Today, I'm flying Royal Jordanian's Crown Business Class on board their Boeing 787 Dreamliner. Having just arrived fresh off my Qatar Airways first class flight from Doha, I'll be starting in RJ's flagship business class lounge in Amman. This lounge, by the way, features unlimited ice cream, a pizzeria, and an open bar quite the dangerous combination for my waistline. Next, I'll head over to catch my flight and as usual, provide a comprehensive review of exactly what their long haul premium product is really like and most importantly, if you should fly it. Oh, and thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Royal Jordanian is of course the flag carrier of Jordan and an airline many of you may not be that familiar with. They have a small fleet of just 25 aircraft, seven of which are Boeing 787s. For a small airline though, they pack a punch and operate a great looking long haul business class to destinations like New York, Montreal and Hong Kong. Let's pick up my journey at Queen Alia International Airport, some 30 clicks south of Jordan's capital, Amman. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. We just arrived here in Jordan. I'm only transiting, but I'm gonna get the full experience. I'm heading over to their business class lounge now, which thankfully is open. Got quite a long layover. In fact, my flight is not until I think 4 p.m. And bearing in mind now, it's about 11 a.m. So a nice five hour layover to see what this lounge can offer. Let's go and find out. The RJ Crown Lounge is located on a mezzanine floor in the center of the terminal, accessible if you're flying business class, you're an elite one world frequent flyer, or by using a priority pass. I'm greeted by a member of staff and escorted up into the lounge. I'm welcomed with a fresh Turkish coffee, which was incredible. Right guys, so welcome to the Royal Jordanian Crown Class Lounge, which is basically, it almost overlooks the entire airport which I absolutely love. Anyway, let's go and have a look. I believe there's quite a selection of food that I need to go and sample. And me being me, of course, I like my food. I am trying to be good, but if there's a lot on offer, I've got to at least sample a tiny bit, right? What I wanted to show you as well was the bar. They've got a fully stocked, fully serviced bar. Unlike a lot of lounges around the world where they've cut back alcohol, here at the Royal Jordanian Lounge, I can Help myself to a nice glass of black label, perhaps a pint of Stella. She goes out with her mate Stella. Or even just a gin and tonic, but they'll also do cocktails and stuff as well. Oh. Right guys, so let's crack on with a bit of food. Um I have got some lovely chicken and rice going on here. And also some uh, penne pasta and then of course we've got the tabula as well now i've only tried the one uh from uh, dubai before so i'm interested to see what this will be like good to see they've got metal cutlery let's try it looks like I've got some eggplant in there as well Mmm, delicious. Okay, I admit it, I got a little carried away tasting all the amazing food. I spent the rest of my time in the lounge working on my next video, and before I know it, we must go and do the main event, which is obviously fly the Dreamliner, the 787, I think it's a Dash 8, if I really remember, um, in their crown class, their business class. So let's head straight over there now. As always, to ensure full transparency, I did have to ask permission to film today, and this was down to a particularly pertinent matter, flight marshals and on every Royal Jordanian flight there are flight marshals so I've had to get like clearance to actually film this which is not the ideal thing because obviously most of the time I want to I want the airline to not know that I'm coming but in this case it's had to happen so let's just bear that in mind and just before we get on board here's a quick word from today's video sponsor Squarespace Squarespace make it super easy for you to set up and host a website this isn't the 1990s where you have to know complicated coding Squarespace really have this down handling it all from the domain name through to the design hosting social media linking and even your search engine optimization the best bit is Squarespace are offering you a free trial and 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Just head over to squarespace.com forward slash Trek Trendy and use the coupon code Trek Trendy. Thanks again Squarespace for making this video possible. 
Boarding seemed at first a relatively orderly affair, with a queue for both business and economy. Because they knew I'm coming, I appear to have been expedited to the front, but I'm told it's so I can be first on board to take unobstructed videos of the cabin. I do actually quite appreciate this and it makes my life a lot easier. Right, so formalities all sorted. Now it is time to go and get on this beautiful 787, well, Boeing 787 Dreamliner, the Dash 8 over to Dubai. Flight time today will be roughly around two, I think it's about two hours, 50 minutes. Might be a little bit less, a little bit longer, but we shall find out when we get on board. Super excited and I have to say, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's probably one of the most beautiful looking liveries on a plane. Hello, buddy. Okay, okay. As I head over to my seat today, 3A, and get my bag stowed, I think it's time to take a quick look around the empty cabin, seeing as we have it to ourselves. RJ have gone for a 222 staggered layout, with a total of 24 seats in their crown class cabin. This isn't a particularly competitive spec, as the expectation these days in business class is for each seat to have direct aisle access, but let's roll with it and see how we get on. I love the colour palette used here and the cream leather gives the cabin a real premium feel. Right guys, so welcome on board. Loving the boarding music, fantastic. Um, obviously as you saw, I managed to get on board just a few minutes before everyone else, so I was able to just have a quick look around with the cabin empty. However, there does still seem to be quite a bit of the cabin empty. I'm hoping that somebody won't sit next to me so it'll allow me to get like a little bit more of an experience. Already it seems if someone did sit, there, sit next to you, you'd be in quite close quarters to said person. But again, that's just the design of the aircraft. It's a 222, as you saw just now. So just one of those things. So I would say already, it's one of those airlines that I think if you're traveling as a couple, perfect. You can actually have a really nice, good space together. Whereas if you're traveling solo on your own, obviously you're a little bit more exposed. So welcome to on board with a lovely Arabic coffee. Fantastic for the second time today. I get used to this. They don't make it like this in the UK. At this point, me being the total wally that I am, I hadn't secured my camera properly. Oh, c now, I'm honest with my experiences, even if it makes me look like an idiot. Thankfully, I think there wasn't much left and it largely went over me and not on anything or anyone else. With a fresh drink provided, it's now time for pushback. So I get my seatbelt fastened, sit back and watch a couple more of those beautifully adorned RJ Dreamliners taxi to their stands. The safety video is then screened and we move over to the runway. And wow, what a surprise this is. Literally some of the most obscure airlines, aircraft and aircraft paraphernalia just lying around gathering dust, well, um, sand. Finally, it's takeoff time and we hurtle down the runway into the Jordanian afternoon sunshine. Around 10 minutes time, we begin to level out. I'm provided with a menu card and an amenity kit. Now, before you say, that's so basic, remember this is a sub three hour flight. I don't think I've ever had an amenity kit during a flight of this length. So good job, RJ. Back to the menu and I'm really impressed. There are four main course options, which again is really good to see for such a short flight. Next, a warm towel is provided, which I miss so much, given not even Qatar provided one on my morning flight. So another tick in the box for RJ. After I finished being a moron with my warm towel, drink service begins. I'm served an ice cold DC, well, uh, Coke Zero. Yes, there is a difference in taste, come at me. And I was also provided with some warm nuts, which went down a treat. In about 20 minutes, dinner service begins. The tray table retracts out from the central section of the seat. It doesn't allow much movement though once out, so go for a wee before dinner. Now here's where I'm thrown a curveball. Someone is moved to the seat next to me. Shock horror, Will, the audacity. The reason was, was that their IFE was broken. Fair enough. However, I think this is a good thing as it allows me to experience the seat with someone sat next to me. My table is set complete with metal cutlery, thank the Lord, and these cute salt and pepper shakers. To start, I was served the smoked salmon. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of salmon to begin with, but I did eat it and it was tasty enough. Just something was a little bit fishy. Oh goodness, I'll see myself out. 
This came accompanied with a side salad, complete with balsamic and olive oil dressing. Nothing to write home about, if I'm honest. Next for my main, and oh my, this was incredible. A traditional Jordanian dish of stewed lamb in sun-dried yogurt. It was phenomenal. Top marks Royal Jordanian. If that wasn't enough, a dessert trolley was pushed down the aisle. Not seen one of these since before COVID. I went for the chocolate dessert. It was okay, but rather dry. Given the lamb dish though, I'm very content with dinner service. Let's get that tray table folded away and over to the bathroom for a loo review. There seemed to be only one operational bathroom at the rear of the business class cabin. Sadly, no window, so no loo with a view, but it was clean and stocked with ritual lotion and, well, cologne. I find communal cologne a bit odd, but hey, when in Rome, uh, I mean 30,000 feet over Bahrain. Lou review over, let's go check out the bed. Thankfully, my new seatmate had finished his movie and headed back to his seat. Bonus as it allows me to properly show you the bed. After making sure 100% my camera was properly attached this time, I put the seat into sleep mode. The seats thankfully fold fully flat, though when doing this it occurred to me how inconvenient it must be if you have a stranger next to you, how do you even go about making your bed? Due to being such a short flight, nothing more than a blanket and pillow is provided, but these were more than adequate for a quick nap. I managed to get 40 or so winks in before we began our approach into Dubai. Upon waking, it seems my friend is back to watch another movie. Fair play, lad. With my seatbelt fastened, we descend down into Dubai, and I feel overall happy with my RJ experience. One has to remember it's a small airline, competing against the mighty Middle Eastern 3, and I like to think it holds its own, certainly on a regional basis, and especially with the Dreamliner. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Right guys, welcome to Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Goodness me, all a bit tired. That has been a fantastic flight. Really, really impressed with Royal Jordanian. A real surprise. So hopefully they expand our network, but overall a very good journey indeed. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along and I'll catch you all again next week. Thanks once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Trek Trendy to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.